In this video, I will show you how you can make your own high voltage capacitors if you're working on Tesla coils or any other high voltage experiments. These are the types of capacitors that you will need for those projects. Now the materials that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this refrigeration foil. Now this is used for duct work on air conditioning. I'm going to use this polyethylene tape. Now, if you're not sure what the material is, just call up the company like I did just to verify exactly what it is, and they'll tell you. In my case, this was polyethylene, 2.6 mils. Polypropylene and polyethylene seem to be the best dielectrics to use when creating these high voltage capacitors. Now, the thicker the material, the higher the breakdown voltage. So, this polyethylene tape is 2.6. This can handle a lot more voltage than the saran wrap, which is a 0.6 polyethylene. Now there's a chart that I will put in the video description box that outlines the properties of plastics and the dielectric strength. Now in this case, we're going to take a look at, now for low density polyethylene, it's showing the dielectric strength is good for 5,000 volts at 1 mil. So this tape right here is 2.6. So we're good for probably around 12,000 volts if you use just one layer of this tape. The saran wrap, which is polyethylene, which is much thinner at 0.6 mil, this one could only probably handle maybe 2,000 volts because of the thickness. Now most of these capacitors are made from aluminum, but the best material to use is this exact same foil tape, but in copper. And the reason why I like copper, once the capacitor is made, you can sand the corner of the copper. You could fan out a little piece of copper wire, put a little bit of flux, and then you could solder onto the capacitor directly. With this capacitor, the only way you can connect is by clamping onto it or fanning out a bunch of wire and folding the wire into the foil and crimping it. So this will work good too, but the best way is using copper foil tape. Now the thickness of the foil tape that you use is nowhere near as important as the thickness of the dielectric. The foil could be fairly thin. So you don't have to worry about the thickness of the tape. Now I've seen some videos where people made very nice high voltage capacitors, but they went to a hobby shop and they used really, really thick copper plates and there's really no reason to use such a heavy gauge piece of copper. Now the reason why I like the thinner one is because it's easier to shape and you also do not have a lot of current going through these high voltage capacitors. How this works is the closer that these two metal plates are pushed together, the higher the capacitance is. If you're using a thinner material, it's much easier to roll the two plates closer together or fold them together compared to using a thick copper or brass plate. So to me this is the best, but even better. Like I said, get the copper foil, 3M makes it. Now this is an example of one that I made right here. This one right here is a folded capacitor. And I'll show you in a minute how you can make this one, they're very simple. This one is a 0.01 microfarad and the value is a 103 cap. I can show you on my capacitance meter here. All right, it's on the 20N setting capacitors in position and this one is 11.1 .1 nanofarads and if I squeeze it you're gonna see it go higher you see that so depending on what you need for instance and when I made this one right here what I did is I when I was done with it to really get it tight I took two small pieces of lumber and I put one on each side of the capacitor and then I took a C-clamp and I cranked it down super tight. And then what that did, it allowed the value to go higher to where I, where I needed it. So once you're done making this, if it's not high enough the value and you're not too far off, just get two pieces of lumber, put one on each side of the capacitor, take a C-clamp and really tighten it down and then back off and check what the reading is. Now there's, there's two things you could do if you still cannot get the value higher of this capacitor that you made. You can make a new one using more foil and that'll give you more folds 
and that will increase the capacitance. Or if you don't need that much voltage, maybe a couple of thousand, you could, instead of using this, for, instead of using this tape, you could switch to some saran wrap like this, which is polyethylene. Now, this, this comes in different grades. You can get a heavier, a better quality saran wrap will be a little thicker, so you might be able to get three or 4,000 volts out of it. So you could take, so you could replace this dielectric with a thinner, and then that will definitely bring the value much higher. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the folded one first. Very simple. I'm going to take a strip of this refrigeration tape, about a foot and a half long. Now, once you have one cut, as you can see, there's a notch with the tab sticking out to connect to. You're going to cut another one that's slightly narrower, and this notch here, this tab that sticks out, you want to have it sticking out at this end. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put a layer of the clear polyethylene tape over this one, and then you're going to place the smaller strip on top before you fold them. Okay, now you can see both strips. You have the one that's a little wider and the other one that's a little narrower. This has a tab which will be positioned at this end, and this has a tab which stays at this end. The next step is to apply the polyethylene tape to the underside of the strip. Don't cover the tab, just cover the entire strip. Okay, you can see the strip now has the tape affixed to one side, which is this side. Now once the tape is applied to the adhesive side of the strip of foil, you're going to take a round pen like this, you're going to push down on a very hard flat surface like this glass, and you're going to roll it out so it's perfectly flat, just like that. All right, now you can see I have the two in position. Underneath this top piece is the polyethylene tape, so the two plates can't touch each other. The clear tape extends about a quarter of an inch past this, even though that doesn't line up, doesn't matter because the clear tape is out here. Make sure that the clear tape extends past on each end, so there's no chance of shorting out. And you're going to apply one more layer of clear over the bare metal surface here now. So you have a layer of clear on top, a layer in the middle, and then just the metal plate on the bottom. I now applied a single layer of polyethylene tape over the surface of the foil right here. So we now have a layer on top of this, a layer in between the two, and then just the aluminum foil at the bottom. Now the next step, we're going to start from one end. We'll start from this end. We're going to start folding over the sheet. And as we fold it over, you're going to want to get this pen and roll it nice and flat and push down to flatten it as you go. So I'm going to fold it over maybe about 5 eighths of an inch wide. I'll start from here and I'll start folding it. Okay, you can see I folded three or four times already. I'm going to keep folding all the way down until I get to this bottom point right here. Okay, once you roll it all the way down, just fold the end over tight, tape it down, and you have your capacitor. There's each, each leg. You connect one to there, one to there. If this was copper, you would cut these fairly short and you would solder a wire here and then flip it over and solder a wire there. And you could fold this any way you want. You could even fold this in half again to get more capacitance. But we'll check this out now and see what the reading is. Okay, it's now connected up. Let's see what the reading is. 5.23 nanofarads. So this capacitor right here is a 5 nanofarad capacitor and we have one layer at roughly 2.6 mils according to the chart. There it is, the low density polyethylene, 5,000 volts per 1 mil. So this capacitor should be rated around 12,000 volts at 5.2 nanofarad. Now if I squeeze this, you should see the value go higher. There you go. In a rested state, it's around 5.25. Now, if you don't want a flat capacitor, then you could also roll it up, and it looks like this one's complete. Now, ideally, you want to find a nice little plastic core to tape the strips onto so you can roll them nice and tight. You could take the plastic from a pen and use that. Now, you want to keep the diameter 
of the core as small as possible because if you use like a half inch PVC pipe, you're going to have to wrap a lot more turns of the dielectric and the aluminum to get a high value because you have less overlap on a larger tube. By having a smaller tube, more of the turns are overlapping. Let's check out the value of this. All right, so this small rolled up one. Now this is 2.78, and if you'd like to get the value higher than 2.78, it's very simple. You don't have to change the dielectric. That would affect the voltage output, the voltage rating. You would simply make the strip much longer. Twice as long should yield around 5.5, 5.6.